So we're out here at the uh, Corning Sea Orchard demonstrating the capabilities of unmanned aircraft for a project trying to count cones on the trees out here. Well, the orchard approached us looking for a uh, faster and more effective way to count the cones, make their job a little simpler, and, uh, and higher quality counts. Yes, we've been uh, flying these type of aircraft for roughly five years. We got trained with the military in, initially with the RQ-11 Raven. Um, and most recently, about two years ago, on the RQ-16 T-Hawk. The first BLM project that we did was in Idaho Falls in the Upper Snake uh, District office doing a invasive weed mapping project, uh, looking for rush skeleton weed. Sure, so the, the project process we have on our, um, our website, a complete diagram of it. It's a bit complex, but all of the operators of the aircraft are carded by OAS. We go through recurrent training once a year as well as a, a several week long initial operators course. Uh, for each project, we need to get approval to operate the aircraft from the military since they're surplus aircraft. Uh, approval to fly from the FAA, either by way of a certificate of authorization or our memorandum of agreement. Um, landowner notification if there's any private lands adjacent and uh, then local office approval to actually conduct the project. So it's uh, a pretty lengthy process. It usually takes several months to get uh, get going on one of these projects. Some of the projects we've done involve uh, a variety of resource applications, uh, vegetation mapping, riparian mapping, uh, fence line studies. Um, this is the first time we've tried to do an orchard mapping project. So we have a, a variety of natural resource projects. So I see the future for using uh, unmanned aircraft for high resolution mapping projects uh, of somewhat small scope, um, you know, down in the thousand acre or less type applications at extremely high resolution.